Hey everyone, it's Earth Collectors here. We're opening up a box of 2024 Topps Heritage Baseball. This is a monster box or mega box uh, from Walmart. Uh, this was, I think, 55 bucks. You can find these also at Meyer. I think they're 60 bucks. Uh, so you get uh, three exclusive gr uh, Chrome Sparkle uh, parallels in here. These are the blue exclusive to the mega boxes. These are always nice looking cards. They're always nice looking. You also get a chance at the um, Topps Baseball um, Sensations. Is that what it says? A gold foil board and then the 1975 Zoos Who um, mm. something blue. Let's open up the box. We can actually read it here. Oh, the plastic wrap gets in the way. So take that off anyway. So there we go. Zeus who's stick-ons. And then, yeah, uh, baseball sensation. All right, so here's what the side looks like. You get 135 cards in total, 15 packs, 9 cards a pack. Um, you can get all the good stuff out of here for the most part. You can't get some of, the, obviously, the, hair, the uh, hobby uh, exclusive stuff, uh, which is like blacks and a few other variations. Um, the black... Yeah, the black border uh, cards, not the black chromes. I believe you can still get those out of retail. Uh, but there you go. And then the side, the side here, find parallels, number two, same thing on that side. All right, let's get into it. Find what, or see what we can find out of this box. And if you haven't yet already, please subscribe to the channel and uh, definitely hit that thumbs up button. Uh, saying that you like the video. Uh, we greatly appreciate it. It helps the channel out a lot. Didn't mean to rip the box, but there we go. The rip box now. All right, so put it off to the side here. And let's get into these packs. Let's see what we can find. Uh, I did see somebody open up some retail, and it looked pretty solid. Um, the hanger boxes and value packs, not so much. I haven't seen anybody open up a monster box yet, so... Let's see if these are any good. You, in the past, they have been pretty solid. Um, so we're looking for, uh, you know, any of the top rookies. And then, of course, the rare autographs you can find in these. Um, the blaster boxes I've seen contain some autos. I even saw one guy pull a red autograph. So definitely have to check out the cards because on the back, they do have the variations listed. And here is one of the short prints. One to 100 are the short prints. And there he is, Isaac and Gavin Luck. So always check the backs of your heritage. Right up there is where you're going to find the variation. It's going to be in small print. So we'll take the time to look at those, make sure we don't miss any of those variations. Um, just to make sure we get everything or see everything that is in one of these monster boxes. All right, here's one of our blue chrome sparkles. So... I'm excited to see what those look like in the 75 design, which the set is mimicked after. Okay, this is one of the retail exclusives as well. Um, I think there's a different numbering on these. Yeah, so I think those are the... Um, where's my box? They are the... Yes, yeah, Sensations. I think those are the Baseball Sensations. Um, I believe that's what those are called. Um, so you can see there it says... Yeah, BS, baseball sensations. Okay, BS, don't, you know, make any crude comments down below. All right, here's an insert, then and now, and then we have an Owen White, and that's just a regular, and then we have, oh, nice, Gunnar Henderson. That's not a bad one to get. And then behind that is nothing. So just that there, but that's nice. These are not numbered, but that's a nice one. And they do look nice. They have the dark blue down below, and then that light blue sparkle up above let's look at the back of these packs here see if there's any variations i don't see any all right pretty sweet so we have one short print one insert um that baseball sensations one and we have uh one of the chromes so all right here's a white border not bad you get two of those per hobby so tommy uh edmund uh, white border those are not numbered and then flashbacks and Bryce and Stott. All right, so look for the variation. Seeing none, we'll go to the next pack. So, so far I would say this mega box is pretty solid value um, for being a little, about 20 bucks less. No, not 20 bucks, about 40 bucks less than a, than a hobby box. Um, 
Now, maybe in a while, hobby boxes will drop, but there's a Kikuchi. Shout out to Striker Breaks. Um, he loves Kikuchi. All right, so let's see here. Nothing there. All right, onward and upward to the next pack to see if we can find. I'd love to pull one of the red ink autographs. It is possible on retail. I've done really well on retail in the past. There's a Mejia. Uh, but the last couple years of retail have not been very good. So I'm hoping that Tops under Fanatics has brought retail back to its former glory of heritage. Where you should be able to open up some blaster boxes and pull autographs, relics, and uh, yeah, you couldn't pull this exclusive stuff of Hobby, but there's a nice Ellie. Those are actually pretty tough pulls. I'll put that in the good pile there. Um, let's see what, we else ha what else we have here. There's one of the zoo cards, the Zoo's Who. Baby giraffe. That's cool. All right. So the uh, Brandon Belt baby giraffe. Interesting. All right. There we go. Bo Bichette and Diaz. All right. Let's see if we got any variations there. No, we don't. Uh, but there's the zoo card. I don't know how many of those we're going to get in a monster box. Maybe only one, maybe two. Not sure. All right, so let's see what we have in this pack here. Um, the gallon and nothing else really of note, unless there's a short print there. Nope, don't see any. All righty, on to the next one. Hopefully you guys are enjoying baseball. Um, we're Red Sox fans. They've been playing Baltimore. Baltimore has been crushing them. But it, uh, oh, we have something in here. Oh, Chrome. Oh, no, it's a 3D card. Sweet. 3D. It looks like a 3D. I thought it said Reds there for a minute, but it looks like maybe it's a Phillies. Oh, wait. I got to keep those out to look at the backs. There's an Alex Thomas. In, oh, nice. Steve Carlton 3D. That's cool. Um, there you go. The 3D card. That's sweet. Steve Carlton. Hall of Famer. Um, one of the guys I'm sure that people are chasing out here Johnny Bench George Brett's in there uh, in the set but you know these old uh, Hall of Famers or superstars definitely are people um, that in these throwback heritage cards people are looking for uh, to add to their own personal collection and it's pretty pretty fun all right let's see here we got a short print number to 36 so that's our third one and I don't know what the odds are, how many per Mega. I'm guessing probably four to five. Uh, four would be pretty good. Six are in usually in a hobby box. So that's pretty good for 55 bucks. Um, not that they sell all that well, but um, still. Butler, Scherzer, and a most valuable players. If I miss something, let me know in the comments below. A pretty fun rip overall so far. We are looking for one more of the chromes and hopefully something else special in here. The blue chromes, you get three of those per. Bryce Harper, Albies, and boy, it doesn't look like anything in there. So another base pack. No inserts or anything. All right. So if you're chasing inserts, this may not be the, the way to go. Definitely hobby would be more of your way to go there. We have a Red Sox suite in the back um, of the blue. Soto, there he is in his Yankees uni. And then Anthony Volpe. And then we have Mr. Kyle Finnegan. The short print numbered to 41. And then Garrett Cole. And then that's a nice one, Yoshida. And the Chrome in the... Um, Monster Box Exclusive Chrome. Blue Sparkle Chrome. Sweet. All right, take that. That's pretty awesome. And nothing in that pack. That was a, a variation. So I think we have all of our blue Sparkle Chromes, but let's see if there's anything else hiding in one of these packs. There's a World Series card, and then Manny Machado, New Age Performers, and Kakuchi. All right. Have you seen these in your stores? I just saw them today at our local Meyer. Um, but I bought this one off of Walmart.com. Shipped, I think, overnight. We get them next day a lot of times, which is crazy. Um, and free shipping at that. So can't complain about that. 
Not everything, but some of the stuff. Casas, Evaldi, and okay, so you've got another one of these uh, pinks. The, um, oh, Baseball Stars, is that the name? I already forgot the name of it. Baseball Sensations, sorry, Baseball Sensations. All right, let's look at the stack here, this pack. Nope, no variation. So down to the last pack, we didn't really get anything too crazy other than that 3D card. Let's hope maybe in this one here is something huge or not. Uh, Rogers and Ruiz. So the Rogers is a short print. Actually, you get a lot of short prints out here, which is cool. All right. Yeah, so nothing, no autographs, no relics. Uh, but we did get that 3D card, which those are fairly tough. I don't think those are going to be one per, per mega. I could be wrong. Um, and then there's a Chrome. Then we got the Ellie Rookie. We got this is our other Chrome, a one of three. We actually did good on uh, on the Chromes. Uh, Gunnar Henderson. And I don't know how big that checklist is for the blue sparkle Chromes. I don't know if it's the entire set. I, it usually in the past has not been. So here's our sure prints. One, two, three, four, five, which is pretty good. And then we have our 3D card, Steve Carlton, and then the Baby Giraffe Zoo card. And then we have a few inserts here. One, two, three, four, five. So there you go, guys. There's a look at your monster box from Walmart. Thanks so much for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. We'll see you in the next video. Take care. Have fun collecting.